So I am back today with a fall haul. It's funny because I was um, remembering my fall haul last year when I was still living at my parents' house and I thought it was funny that I was able to accumulate enough stuff to film a fall haul for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Fall is definitely one of my favorite seasons. I'm always sad to see summer go, but fall is just like so cozy and I love the candles coming out, the hoodies, the sweaters, stuff like that. So my main shopping for clothes um, mission was basically just to find a cute flannel. I feel like when fall comes around, everyone just wants one new cute flannel. But, oh, Squirt's going in for a drink. A lot of you said that my door randomly opened in my last video. That's why, because he opens the door and he wants to go in for a drink. So I have some clothes, I have a pair of boots, um, some makeup, and some nail polish. Not too much stuff um, to share with you guys. Of course, I went to Lord & Taylor. That is kind of like my store when I am looking for something new to wear and pieces that I'll have in my collection um, for a while. I go to Lord & Taylor because their clothes just seem to last a while for me. If I want something trendy and something probably only wear once, obviously I'm gonna go to Forever 21 and stuff. But when I know that I just want like one stable piece, a few nice things, I go to Lord & Taylor. So in the first bag, the lady at the counter packaged all my shirts like this. You would think I bought like some glamorous dress with the way she packaged it, but no, just a bunch of shirts. Get this thing off, 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 off. Okay, so I had her leave everything on the hanger. I'm hoping that it's easy for you guys to see. I will um, show you guys it on the hanger, then show it to you on me. The first thing just being this flannel, it's kind of longer and I did love the colors. I love how it kind of changes at the shoulders and you know, just, just switches it up a bit. It's like a dark maroon, um, kind of like berry color. And I don't know, it just like screamed fall to me. This is of course by Free People. And like I said, it's a little bit longer, but what I really liked about this flannel is that even though it's longer and it seems a little loose, it actually does have a little bit of cinching right here. So if you do wear leggings, it kind of covers the bum nice, but it also cinches so it shows some shape. You just don't look like a huge blob. That's like a big thing for me when I go shopping. I wanna make sure that my shape is shown, you know what I mean? I just don't wanna look like a box or a square or just like a frumpy mess, you know what I mean? FYI, this price tag on here is a lot. This is actually $98, but everything at Lord & Taylor was like, 30% off your purchase, and depending how much you spend, you can get 40% off your purchase, plus everything's on sale, plus I had a 20% coupon. So although the things at Lauren Taylor are pretty expensive, you can find good deals. Just you can't walk in there and try to buy anything because you gotta wait for the sales. And the next shirt is this really pretty gray, kind of like cozy sweater. I fell in love with it on the hanger, so I tried it on. And when I first tried it on, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but the more I kind of moved it around and kind of played with it right here, because as you can see, it has this sort of like, I wouldn't call it ruching, but you know, it kind of is better. If I picture like a pregnant woman wearing this because it might hide your bump really nice, but I love Loved that it still showed shape because you could wear it off the shoulder. Um, it does have the tight arms, which is nice, so it does show shape right there. And then the bottom, um, the bottom, the back is nice as well because if, again, if you wear it with leggings, it will cover the bum. But I did love this. It's super, super soft, um, so it's so comfy. This is by the company We The Free, and I got it in a medium. And this, again, it has a price tag of $68. Actually, it's by Free People, duh. <laughs> we The Free, yeah, okay. Um, again, it has a price tag of $68, but 20% off, 40% off, all those good things. And um, I had a good deal on it. And once I put it on, I kind of played around with it and fell in love. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, how pretty is that? So I was about to check out. I figured I only need two shirts. I don't need to go crazy in the store. But then I saw this guy. Like how, how pretty is this? I love this shirt so much. Not only is it the softest thing I have ever felt, again, but it's so different. I, typically you do see the shirts that are like ombre and stuff like that, but I just loved like the drastic change right here. I thought it was so pretty. And again, when I put it on, I grabbed this one off the rack and when I put it on, it just kind of fit me absolutely perfectly. Sorry, I'm like distracted by something on here. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to Tide Pen that. It's like a little tiny stain. Look at this little tiny stain. No, can you guys see that? Haven't even worn it once, already has a tiny stain in the back. How annoying is that? 
Anyhow, it fit me really, really well. I got it in a size small. Yeah. It's long enough to wear with leggings again, but it's like tight enough so it really, really shows your shape. It fits my, it fits my arms perfectly. It just kind of like, as soon as you put it on, it's like, like a glove. This is by the company. Uh, vintage, 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 vintage Savannah Havana, Havana. And the price tag of this was $72. So a little bit on the pricey side, but the fabric feels so luxurious. And overall, I am super happy with this. All right, so the other shirts I got are for Vinny. Do you guys care about boy clothes? I'm not gonna show this to you. If you guys care about boy clothes, leave a comment below. Next time, I'll show them to you. All right, so now for this huge bag, it even has like the special little like rope ties on here. When she carried, when she carried, when she handed this bag to me, I'm like, oh my God, that's massive. Like look at it compared to me, massive. I was in the boots aisle or section for a while because I, it's been a long time since I bought myself a pair of boots, knee high boots, you know, riding boots. Sorry, this bag's making so much noise. Shush. For the past like three years or if not even longer, I just kind of buy, you know, the tall boots from Target because typically they're pretty trendy and nice and I like them and I don't feel bad when I ruin them so it just works out really well. But I really did want to get a pair of nice riding boots that I can have for years and um, I just felt like it was time for me to get a pair of big girl riding boots. Again, they were having a big sale on boots. If you bought one pair, you got 20% off. Two pairs, you got 25% off, and three pairs, 30% off, or something like that. So obviously boots are, especially tall riding boots, are on the more expensive side. Um, plus, like I said, I had that 20% off coupon that was applicable to everything. So I just need that immediate gratification, satisfaction, whatever the hell that word is. You guys know what I mean. That is me all the way. The ones I ended up getting are by Steve Madden. I just seem to always gravitate towards his. They're always comfortable. They last me a while. Good quality. Great price. Blah, blah, blah. You guys have to be honest with me though, how you feel about these because I tried on a pair, like five pairs. These were the second ones that I tried on. The first pair I tried on, I actually went to when I first walked in the store and then after shopping, I went back to them. But after putting them on, they were just kind of really tight around the ankle because they didn't have a zipper that went all the way down. It kind of only went halfway down. So it was like awkward around the ankle and there was really no way for me to get rid of that or fix that, even getting a bigger size. So whatever, the ones I ended up getting do zipper all the way down, but I don't know, they, they were a little bit on the pricey side. I think I ended up paying like $100 for them, which, you know, for riding boots, I guess it's kind of good. But you guys have to be honest with me and tell me what you think. Um, I kind of want to bring them back just because I'm like, oh my gosh, they're a lot of money and they weren't the first ones I wanted. You know, driving myself nuts for no reason. So these are the ones I got. I know they're cute, but do you guys love them or not? Like, are these the boots that I need? I don't know. So I really did like the straps. Um, the zipper is kind of different, how it like goes up like that. I actually thought that that was a real zipper. I tried to like zipper it down and it does absolutely nothing. They do fit very nice. I do feel like they make my foot a little bit big, but that's just me. I always feel like my foot looks big, big but um, yeah, they fit really nice. I did want brown boots. I love the color and yeah. Obviously I'm gonna insert a crip. A crip. I'm gonna insert a crip. 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 <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to beauty items. The first thing I wanted to talk to you about was a new lipstick that I bought. This is one of the new um, Maybelline matte lipsticks, and this is in the color Touch of Spice. I am obsessed with these. I probably, I think I wore this in my last video. Oh, oh, as I drop it. I wore this in my last video and everyone's saying this is like the Kylie Jenner cheap lipstick look. I don't know. I just feel like these are the colors that I gravitate towards. Anyways, it's a really, really pretty spice color and I'll swatch it for y'all. Swatchy, swatchy. And even though it is a matte lip color, it isn't super drying. Like it is, it actually does, I don't know, I can't get worse. It actually still does have some moisture and I find them very comfortable to wear. I've been wearing it actually a lot. You don't need a lip liner. They're super inexpensive and and I love matte lips as it is, so loving that. I think the last thing I had to share with you were some nail polishes, and these actually got sent to me, but I've been actually really loving them, and um, I got a bunch of fall colors, so I figured I will share them with you. This is by the company Madame Glam, and I love these because they're five free, which means they have no harmful chemicals and stuff like that. I put in here a base coat and a top coat for me, which have been working really well. Yes, my nails are a little bit chipped, but this is after a week of wearing them, and typically my nails do not last that long, so I use the base coat, a nail polish, 
polish color and a top coat second time I have applied one of the nail polishes that they sent me so quickly I'll go over it and this is also a company out of Brooklyn so local company as well that I love to support okay so the first color they sent me is in honey cream and it is this really really pretty like gold iridescence with a tiny bit of shimmer and sparkle in it I love this I feel like you can get away with this in the fall the winter Christmas time anything I love this I actually applied it on my nails the first time and um, I really loved it this one is actually just their top coat which I've really been enjoying it is a pink color but it really doesn't come out pink at all um, I just find that it really does keep your nail polishes on let me go through the whole bottle and before I give you my final thoughts but um, I've been loving this and then of course their base coat which is just this like you know whitish yellowish color and um, yeah it's been work it honestly has been working I've tried base coats before and they just are just like another layer that don't do anything this is actually I think keeping on my polishes so I'll follow up with you guys. All right, some more colors are the one I have on my nails right now, which is in, what is it, Family Secret. Like, how cute is that? And it's kind of like this dark, plummy, with like gold iridescence under it. So, so, so pretty. And yes, as I said before, my nails are chipped, but this is a week of wear, and um, I do get compliments on this when I wear it. Next is a kind of a different color. Um, this is in the color Emerald Dream and it kind of is coming up very green for you guys um, on the camera for some reason. I noticed this when I did a live um, stream on you now and I showed this to you guys it comes out really green but in person it's more of like a dark turquoise but I found this to be really 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 pretty and then I put it on my nails and I didn't love it so much so I'm gonna give it another shot and um, see how I like it but I don't have anything like this so I'm happy to add it to my collection and then the last one that I love and I think is gonna be the next one that I put on my nails is in the color where's my sapphire just take it just, just take a second and look at the beautifulness in this nail polish like so pretty it's like a blue it doesn't really have sparkle it just has like shimmery I don't even know like purple undertones and green undertones so pretty I definitely will be putting this on my nails next okay those are all the nail polishes I actually have a coupon code for you guys if you guys want to check out some of their nail polishes again five free which is really cool they're from Brooklyn small company um, check them out if you want and um, use the coupon code if you want to get some money off it doesn't help me at all but there you go okay so that is my entire fall haul I see I rambled for way too long because my camera is on almost 20 minutes what don't think I have anything else to say all my links are below Twitter Instagram make sure you're following with me there I'm always on there and um, you guys can talk to me connect with me thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon bye